Okay, again, I'm working on the car, and uh, this is a Chrysler Sebring's 2.7 liter dual overhead cam. Uh, this is a 2003. Um, look, when you're working on this car, uh, you're gonna have to mark uh, everything, okay? So you're gonna already find some videos where they're gonna tell you how to take off your uh, valve covers. Uh, you're gonna find the videos where they're gonna tell you how to take off your air intake. Uh, that's all fine, neat and dandy. What you're not gonna find is taking out this plug right here, right there. You're gonna have to take out this plug right here to access the guide chain tensioner okay so here's your chain right there here is your guide this is one guide set right here here's another guide set uh, right there uh, to get to you got you can get to this bolt right here You can get to this bolt over here, but to get to that top bolt. You're gonna have to take out that guide tensioner and this is right here This is the plug in which you take out of there and I'm using a let's See if that can focus a t55 star key uh, To take that out um, also, I want to let you know that to take off your harmonic balancers, these pulleys are not going to work. You're going to have to go to AutoZone and go ahead and spend the money, it's, it's $80 to rent it, to take off your harmonic balancer. And you're going to have to get the tool uh, that is specially made for Chrysler. Uh, don't play around with any of them other tools because it's not going to work. Get the one specially made for Chrysler. It's $80 to rent it. Uh, it came off right away. I did it fast. Packed the thing back up. Sent it right back to AutoZone uh, to get my $80 back. Uh, didn't even take, uh, seriously didn't even take uh, fit, uh, 60 seconds. It was off. Uh, these things right here. Uh, it's just going to screw something up and and you don't want to do that especially on this job because there's so many things That you actually have to take apart on this engine to gain access for uh, or to the water pump um, Take your time when you're trying to do this job and I'm gonna go, kind of go through the rest of the scenarios I just want to give a, a, a quick thing about where and how to get to this plug right here to gain access to the bolt on your um, for your guide plate okay and I want you to watch out for this sensor right here don't mess up this sensor right here okay that's expensive too so uh, that's it I'm out